G'day you bloody legend, Shane Mostyn here. Today I want to talk to you about the most commonly used tool I use here right on this channel for video and for photography. Oh, I'm going to have to turn some of this off to show you what it is. You see, without using this thing, well, you're just going to be looking at darkness and that's no good for what I do here on this channel because most of the stuff I do is out here in the dark and we're going to need one of these things to actually, well, do what I do. You're probably wondering what it is and it's the most commonly used thing that I use here on this channel. It's a tool that I use for video right now. It's also a tool that I use for a lot of the photos that I take with the Milky Way, with the stars in the night sky and things like that. What is it? Well, it's this light. Let's not just turn this into a look at another RGB light review. Let's say at least five ways to use this in five minutes. We'll see if we can do it. There's moths getting around now. So I'll put five minutes on the clock and we'll get going. Actually, you guys are probably wondering, what is he actually showing us here? It's actually a small LED panel. It's uh, from Pixel. It's called the Liber, L-I-B-E-R. It's got 66 LEDs, it's got some ultra cool ones, some warmer ones, and of course the RGB light, so you can do all sorts of cool, effective lighting, like what I've got going on in the vehicle there behind me. So it's about 66 bucks. I'll link it down in the description there, and it is, it is the most versatile sort of lights that I use here on this channel. So I guess I've talked long enough and my time's ticking down, so we better get cracking. First thing I'm going to do is some astrophotography and I'm going to light paint the subject. This is the actual light here. It's got a silicon case on it here, and for what we're doing here, pretty much everything that we're doing here at nighttime, I'm going to use this silicon case because it's basically a diffuser for the light, so it's not quite as harsh. It just pops off just like that, and there's the, uh, well, there's the torch right there. One of the things I really like about this, and if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that light painting, the variable light, you need to be able to change the power of that light. And this thing does it in increments up to 100%, and it does it really, really well. It's nice and smooth in that transition. But what I really like about this is that you can control it via Bluetooth. So I don't need to go trompling off to whatever it is that I'm trying to light paint. I can just connect my phone to this and adjust the power, adjust the color, adjust everything from my phone way over where I'm taking the photo from. Very bloody cool. So I've got that in the car now, so what I'm going to do is light the car from the inside, the interior light, and I'm also going to use a second torch to light the exterior of the vehicle while we're taking the same photo. And for this photo here, I reckon we'll use the iPhone for this. I'll just change the uh, colors of this here. I can, uh, this is the white balance. I can increase that or decrease it, I can go across here on the app to the RGB and I can change the color of that light. There's a really orange, we can change it to red, change it to red, purpley color, blue, I think blue or teal sort of color like that right there is not too bad for what we're doing here. And because we're trying to capture the stars, I'm going to decrease the intensity of that light significantly because it's a long exposure photo and this is going to turn up pretty bloody well. So I've got that light inside the car now. I've got the camera set up here. We're going to use night mode. It has to be on a tripod. You're going to get 30 seconds if it's on a tripod. I've got my phone holder here, holding the phone on the tripod. It's going to touch out there onto the stars. The light on the car is still going on. As this photo is being taken, I'm going to rush around and light the car with my second light bar. I ended up changing the color of the second one that I was using because blue and blue it just was way too blue. So I changed it to a warmer color and this is the result. Looks pretty bloody good. You can see the tail of the galactic core coming up there behind it. This torch, incrementally, Bluetooth controlled, really good for this sort of photo. What can we do next? Let's go have a look. Actually, you know what would be good? The same sort of photo, we'll get rid of the car out of the photo and we'll do some light painting patterns with the torch. So for this one, I'm actually gonna take the diffuser off of this, this uh, light, mainly because I'm not using the light to light a subject. The light is the subject. We're going to make patterns with this light, uh, with the Milky Way behind it. Hopefully it works, I haven't tried this before, you're seeing it with me right now. Uh, it's because it's got different scene modes as well, you know, the ambulance and fire engine and police and fireworks and all that sort of business. It does all that, but it also has a fast RGB on it. And if I turn that on, you can see, you might be able to see, I've turned it right down so you can see the individual LEDs, because I'm hoping that will come as a bit of a pattern, but you might be able to see it right now. It's changing colors as we're doing this right now. So if I take a 30 second photo with the Milky Way, I can move this around in front of the camera uh, and hopefully we get something, well, better than bad. Gonna do these sorts of things, just wave it around a little bit, come close to the camera when I'm finished, 
just like that and we'll see what we get well that kind of worked I need to go from one side of the camera go out and come back around I think because we've got just one side of it the potential is there let's try it again I'm gonna start from this side come around it's gonna do big circles like this it might work it might not the pattern may not work but the concept will you'll see what I'm talking about in about 15 seconds the potential is definitely here that that there I've just reduced the intensity of the light down to 1% brightness taking the same photo move some different patterns there's a bit of haze in there because of the light we'll be able to fix that in Lightroom anyway let's have a look at number three number three let's go with a self portrait with the stars what I'll do I'll set the same phone up doing exactly the same thing and I'll put the cover back on this I've set it to CCT light give it a warmer glow put the diffuser back on there what I'm going to do is go out there where the photo is being taken probably about 10 meters from the phone maybe five meters from the phone and once it's on I'm going to hold that just like this and then turn it on briefly when the light comes on turn it back off again and that's it that should all be done we'll see how it goes so I've set the timer on the phone to 10 seconds. Touch out on a star to focus that. It's counting down now to from 10. 10 second timer. I hold the, phone, the, the light out just at arm's length. Make a pose, because you know, supermodel and all that. Turn it on. And off. That's it, I can move around now. I've already done the light painting as such. I don't need to stay there dead still. Just need to be still while the light's actually turned on. We'll wait now until it's finished taking the stars and we'll see how it looks. That's finished. <laughs> That's bloody wicked. That looks really cool. I hadn't actually thought of doing that before, lighting myself up when you're on your own taking a self portrait at night is pretty bloody difficult. We've even got Orion in the background there, up above my head, Orion, the, the constellation Orion. Anyway, number four, what can we use number four? Let's have a look. Actually, number four is what I'm using it for right now. It's actually what it's designed to be used for is lighting, well, ugly mugs like this one for doing content creation and vlogging and so forth. So if you're into that sort of thing, this works really well. A lot of the stuff that I do is at nighttime and you can see here right now that the light is really nicely diffused. I've used one of these sorts of lights for, well, pretty much since I've started this channel and it works really, really well. Number five is using it in here, in a studio for doing YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. I'll just um, turn recording on my phone and it's recording. I've got one you can see there on top of the camera that I'm recording on right now. And the other one is sitting over here on top of the stand and that's lighting the side of my, my face here. Now, if I turn this off, you'll see this side of my face is in shadow. I'll turn this off and now my whole face is in shadow. And, that doesn't quite work for what I'm trying to do here. If you look over behind me there, I've got a couple of Lego things here sitting on the shelves that I've got over there. And behind those uh, Lego things, what's over this side? Our ISS and there's a Harley over on this side. There's a, a RGB light sitting behind them, lighting the wall behind them and silhouetting them quite nicely. So you can use these things all over your studio if you're into this sort of uh, video. Um, what else can we use it for? Number six, number six is product photography. And with product photography, you can use them various ways. We'll take a couple of photos here. One, you can use them to replicate corporate colors, for example. So in the back here, I've got a pink uh, bar light, LED bar light, and a blue-green LED bar light. And if I had corporate colors, I could change those to suit what my colors are. So you might have a product, and we'll look at this one here, for example. I've put a, a uh, orange light on one side, a blue light on the other side, because they're complementary colors. And you can see there, it works pretty bloody well. You can also use these lights to replicate natural light just by using the cct functionality on this changing the white balance to where you want it to be if you don't have a window and that's always the best way to do product photography but if you don't have a window with natural light coming in absolutely use one of these lights here and it will replicate the light from the natural sun that's it for today guys uh, if you're interested in this light the link in the description down below to go and purchase that light and uh, i'll see you next week catch you later